won't open. I told you not to buy it. Says the lady with a box full of fountain pen refills. It was a smart purchase. Now I just need a fountain pen. <laughs> Got it. Whoa! I guess the stick wasn't all the way up her ass. Is that marijuana? And she was dying, so you know it's the good stuff. It is good to know that before that woman died, she was not feeling pain. <laughs> or her legs. <laughs> Hand me the chips. They're gone. Well, who ate them all? <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> Cannabis is so much stronger than it was 20 years ago. Wait, you smoked before? I lived in Amsterdam for two years. Wow. Did you ever go to the red light district? Once. <laughs> I was lost. Sure. <laughs> OK, twice. <laughs> now, you tell me a secret so I even. Okay, fair enough. Before I married Bob's father, I had many lovers. That is not a secret. <laughs> you talk about it all the time. <sighs> all right. Between you and me, Cross your heart, hope to die, stick a needle in your eye? I will not do any of that. <laughs> Just tell me. Fine. I don't like being alone. It scares me. Really? When I went into work, it was easy. There was always people around. Now that I'm retired, it's different. But you have your family. Bob and Douglas have their busy lives. And when Christina has her baby, she'll be too busy for me, too. Well, I will never be too busy. So you will never be alone. Oh, thank you, honey. Mm. What are we doing tomorrow? <laughs>